head to me. <laughs> here's here's how you rescue it. Let's do it. It was starting last night for me. Okay. My 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 swoon. <laughs> right. It was coming. It okay. was coming last night. You you know you could just you could just tell. You could just feel little yeah. things weren't right. And so then li- listen, Steve. Yeah. You you know when it's coming. I I understand. A couple of times I went to the grocery store. I didn't get out of my my car cleanly, and just, whoa, you know, just took a little, you know, whoa, you know, okay, um, you know, my hand slipped once or twice, you know, you just little things, and you're just like, Fair. you know, you look, of course the rain's coming, so your joints are a little achy, and mm-hmm. you know, just little things is building up. So last night, you know, get out of shower, you know, and get my little shea butter, you know, get ready, just you know, just I'm gonna try to oil my body up and just just, just kind of get everything go, you know get back in the right direction yeah so i get on my bed i feel a little wiggle oh and i've been feeling this little wiggle all right what, what, quite what it is it's just a little stability wiggle now i have a cow king bed right so it means it's two separate box springs you know what i'm saying uh two separate box springs oh yeah <sighs> Steve, I'm getting out of my bed. Mm-hmm. <laughs> go, go, go. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, God. The box springs opened up. Oh. And I'm just like <laughs> that close to going. Yeah. And now I got those hard, those hard floors. And I'm like, you know, you're just staring down at the floor because you're about to totally eat it. Right. <laughs> oh, yeah. Nice little rescue. You know, I was able to save myself, right? Sometimes that'll that'll change your mood. That's true. Sometimes not, not, that'll change your mood. You save yourself. Okay. You know what I said today we're gonna do? And I'm sore from it. We got we gotta put this thing back together again. Just start over with the bed, box springs, mattresses. Um <clears throat> may or may not have had help, may have done it myself, who knows? Okay. Um, but got the whole bed. Rebuilt back to square run. It's like, nope, we're gonna tighten that bolt <laughs> right where it needs to be. Make gonna, sure, right? Uh, yeah, we're yeah. gonna make sure. Start over from because you know when you first get something and you put it together kind of jankily, yeah. and you're like, it's fine. Yeah, you know, that, it looked a little warped right there, and you're like, eh, eh, big deal, you know? Right. This is fine. That little miss, you know, misstep. When I first got that bed, came back to haunt me <laughs> last night. <laughs> So got that out of the way. Pour myself a cocktail. Sorry, midnight family. Wasn't gonna happen. <laughs> Just what's the bed crash? I was like, yep, it's fair. Yep. So I, I'm feel a little bad because I missed two days. That's okay. Nice show. Yeah. When are you going out of town? Uh the twentieth, the day after the spring game. Because okay. we could have left the nineteenth. Okay. And I was like, nah, I want to see the spring game. So I'm the weather better hold up because I'm. Do you guys go to Disney? Yeah, we're gonna go to Orlando for a few days. Nice. Yeah, yeah. So and then we've got Vegas uh in June. Lovely. You're hitting Vegas again. Hitting Vegas again. Are you gonna go on a crash course diet or something? <laughs> you have to, right? Yes. <laughs> you we're going are are the Vegas standards just a little different? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Listen. You wanna get you wanna get fly? Listen, my wife is losing some weight, you know, she's she's Picked out a couple of bikinis in Vegas, so there's a couple of bikinis that don't have very much in the back end. Is she beating you? She's bought. Yeah. So I'm like, yeah, I can't be like the chubby husband. Like, how much is she beating you, know, you by? A lot. Yeah. A whole lot. She's going hard. Yeah, a whole lot. Yeah. So. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I feel like I, I I I feel like that's something you should be touting. But I, no, I am. Or I no, I mean it's awesome. I hit a store subject. No, no, no. I love it. I mean, I'm perfectly okay, okay. fine with it. No, it's gonna be great. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. I would just be sitting there like, well, she's graduating. I'm not gonna let you beat me though. <laughs> she's graduating the first week in May, so actually, uh, Derby weekend, I won't really. Uh, I'll be probably up towards Cincinnati mm-hmm. this week or this year, uh, because she's she's graduating. So we're excited about that. So then she'll be starting as a nurse practitioner somewhere mm-hmm. here in town. Uh, so are you gonna put out the disclaimer? Yeah, hire her. Charity Rummage. Yeah. Hire her. Pay her. She's got a lot of experience. Mm-hmm. She's been doing this since she's like 16. Started volunteering. She's 15, dad. 16. 
No, no, she got oh. in it herself. Her dad got into nursing because of her. Okay, okay. Yeah, yeah. Oh, so wow. She's, yeah. I mean, she is, she's, about to, she's 29, about to turn 30 now. So she's got, yeah. you know, yeah, a yeah, ton. Yeah. But yeah, I mean, she's been in ICUs, ERs. So yeah, I, I'm excited for her. But yeah, she's getting in good shape. So I'm like, all right, so if we're going to do Vegas and we're staying, apparently we're going to be staying at the Cosmo. So we've got a room overlooking the Bellagio Fountains. Oh, oh very nice. Yeah, that'll Ocean's be fun. Eleven scene. Yeah. yeah. So, uh, but anyway, so there's a lot going on in the next couple here. months. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, there's a lot sphere going on. Looks kind of cool. Yeah. There's a lot going on in the next couple of months. The sphere or um, wh- wh- who are who are my people? The the, the gym, gymnast, the gymnastic. Oh, the, um, Cirque du Soleil. Yeah, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Have you ever done that? Uh, no, I actually haven't. I've only been to Vegas once. Mm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We didn't do a Cirque show. Probably need to do Is that. A what show. they call it? A Cirque show? I guess. Yeah, I yeah, mean, I there, yeah. We never. It's what us Vegas people call it. We never went to um. We never saw um. What's what's your uh play that <laughs> that we have to go see? Uh, they come by here every year. Oh God, the, I'm 37. That's oh right. man, what's I'm it called? Four. Shen Yun. <laughs> Shen Yun or whatever. Oh, listen, yeah. I gave up on that when they posted that thing here and we were like, man, these things are everywhere. A few weeks later, we went with Charity's uncle and aunt and we were uh we were down in Miami uh-huh. and there was a billboard for like Shen Yun or whatever. And I was like, Okay, there's no stopping. Yeah. It's everywhere. Yeah, right. <laughs> yeah. It, like, it's funny though. I'll no longer fight that. I haven't seen them around here. Since. We're going next time they come back. Yeah. Well, I, I I haven't seen them in like two years. Was, was that two years ago? Uh, yeah. I haven't seen a Shen Yun poster. No. Since since then, and they used to come here like every year. So maybe we scared them away, which was not my intention. Like, I just was pissed off. Kentucky people. Yeah. Or maybe they just heard there was like some big headed Italian kid was yelling at us. <laughs> yeah. Screw that no. town. Okay. So speaking of unstoppable forces. Okay. Hurley to Kentucky. No. Breaking news. No. No. no we don't need that. We don't need that. <laughs> no, yeah. seriously. And that and that's been lingering this whole time with all the bull crap today. How lingering much, is this idea that, that Danny is, Hurley's gonna is go the to the Kentucky UK. confidence? And how much of that is the Louisville fear? It's eighty percent Louisville fear, twenty percent Kentucky. What's confidence. that you see? Hmm. How yeah. much how much of the the fire? Or, or the, the, the bug. Oh, you want to undo the phone so we can take some <laughs> phone calls today? Dude, what, that's not you doing it. <laughs> God, every show, man. No, it does it automatically. Producer I swear. Steve. <laughs> I know. I'm like, at what point am I going to just learn that? And, and then go we'll, in there. we'll just do a two man show <laughs> and I'll just learn them. It's a two man game. I mean, what they do is they're going to jog in yeah. there and turn it on. But I'm like, I feel like I could learn it over time eventually. <laughs> like, I don't think it's easy what producers do at all, but I'm like, we're just going to run the show. Today's not the day, Steve. <laughs> I know. Yeah. Be like, oh, yeah, let's take phone calls. Oh, it's in the street. Oh, you hate to see that. Oh, what a shame. I don't know how that got there. What say you, Steve? How much? How much is Louisville fear versus Kentucky uh, confidence? Oh, pride? listen, I I think Louisville fans have pretty much set their. Uh, by the way, Calipari is being and he's been announced officially. Okay, as the do we uh, have the Wu Pig Zui video yet? No, I mean he's in oh. the press conferences today. Okay, but they they've announced officially that uh, he is coming to. There, he signed a five year deal worth seven mil per year. So. Yeah, so when you take a pay cut and just say, hey, "Yeah, put it towards the NIL." Yeah, pretty much. Make, make sure news I- conference today at six p.m. So yeah, um, no, I think Louisville fans. I think we're we're basically like, uh, just don't let it be Billy D or uh, Hurley. Anybody Great. else? I'm here. For, I'm here for. All right, I'm away. What is the personality? Now I want to open up the the lines for this one. 8150 939. Are lines open, Nikki? Yeah. Yeah. Buttons unstuck. The the question you're going to ask is very good because at the end of the day, I don't care what Kentucky fans think about it. I care what does it mean for me. Yes. (laughs) You know what I mean? Like, and Louisville. (laughs) What is the, listen, YouTube channel's up and running, text lines open, phone lines open. Now, I want you to really think about this. You're watching a game. Not, let's not even get to a game. Not even get to a, a Kentucky Louisville game. You're watching a game on television uh-huh. early in the year. Okay. What kind of personality would make you hate this coach? Game one. What kind of personality 
wouldn't make you say, I want a piece of that coach. Hmm. You know, like, super, yeah, super animated. Is that the guy you're going to hate early? Yeah. I mean, OK, because it's it's going to be hard not to put names to it. But mm -hmm. somebody like Danny Hurley would win and he's going to be he's going to complain to the refs and he's going to be <laughs> mad and he's going to yell. He's what, come on the court and touch his player. But he's going to be pumping up yeah. his players. But he's let me be clear. They already are going to have to deal with that because that's Pat Kelsey. Like Pat Kelsey is going to drive them insane. He's going to yell. He's going to drive. He's going to complain to the refs. Kentucky insane. He's going. Yeah, he's going to. He's going to when, when they. He's going to talk crap. You know. What so I'm if they get. Okay, are we putting our coach in into this into this debate? Like, because here's the thing: if you get polar opposites, that could be explosive. If you get a a high wire, yeah, Pat Kelsey, and Kentucky's coach is Scott Stoic, Ooh. Yeah. Ooh. Yeah. That could be a powder keg. Oh, I know. And that's what I Ex explain to people what I'm what I'm That's thinking. what I think it's going to be. Ooh. Because you're gonna have Pastor Drew and Trying to think, what would Kelsey be? <laughs> powder cake, Kelsey. Yeah, powder cake, Kelsey. <laughs> no, and, and and I think that they would be very combustible because Ooh. Drew's going to be more of a hey, let's, let's college basketball here. Let's do this, and Kelsey's going to be like, no, you've got a national title. Do we? Like, I'm coming for do what we you've have to go got. look at 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 his coaching beefs. Do we got to go find his rivalry? Dusty May. Okay. Which is very Scott Drewish. And him and Dusty May got into it. No, 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 no. I was saying Scott Drews. Oh. Who is his I don't care natural about predatory. No, just. <laughs> yeah, I know, but, yeah. But you know how it was good to see. I mean, yeah. Matt yeah, yeah thrown yeah, in and, sure. and say, okay, this is how our guy's going to handle the rivalry. But I can them. tell you. But again, I can tell you right now that Kelsey got into it with, with guys like Dusty May. Mm -hmm. And that's guys that are like Scott Drew. So even if Scott Drew's beefs aren't with guys like that, that's who my coach's beefs are going to be with. So he's going to be coming after him. And he's going to be like, man, you've got a title. Like, I'm <laughs> like, listen, I'm coming to chew your head off. Will he dare say, I mean, they won the the, the, the title. Listen, I mean, they won the title in the COVID year. <laughs> <laughs> I know. Oh, man. I mean, you got that one title. In oh, that's going to be awesome, dude. <laughs> Let me get to the phone lines really awesome. quick. Awesome. Bob, thanks for joining hey. us on 93.9. Fire away, Bob. Hey, guys. Um, no, uh, the, uh, the it, it, it's, it's kind of neat to see the uh, UK fan base squirm right now. Mm. Uh, but, you know, the, from what I understand, uh Kentucky was it threw out like a eleven or twelve million dollar deal to Danny Hurley, uh, and so far he hasn't said yay, hey or yay or nay. But it, his wife really doesn't want him to move, and he'd be somebody I would not like to, to have at UK, being a U of L fan because I think the guy can win. But the question is, he's from the Northeast. And, uh, you know, would you want to come to Kentucky? Uh, and then as far as Scott Drew, I think it's the same deal. Uh, other than him knowing uh, Mitch Barnhart or being, you know, uh, buddies. Right. What? You know, he's, he's, in a, he's in a safe environment at Baylor. I mean, they're going to build a statue for him. It's almost kind of like, uh, you know, the Louisville job, except 10 times worse. Uh, Kentucky fans, Big Blue Nation, is, is, you know, but if the guy doesn't win, I mean, you know, they're, they're going to be mad at him. And, and, and with any sort of money, uh, mm -hmm. you know, what, how much money would, would get you to want to, to wanna come to Kentucky? <clears throat> One name that I heard uh, was that Seth Greenberg uh, mentioned is a, a guy personality wise that could take that job would be Bruce Pearl, and and you know that he'd be a, he'd be tough to 
to, to, to coach against. Although Kelsey's young and, you know, like you all were saying, he'll, he'll, he'll breathe fire back into, um, you know, into this job and, and, and go back against, you know, he'll, he'll fight for whoever's the coach of Kentucky. Uh, so, uh, you know, I'm, I think he'd be good, but, you know, Bruce Pearl, what is he like 65? Hmm. I mean, I don't know. Hey, you know, he's, he's only got a few years left. Um, but anyway, I, I didn't know what you guys would think, but, mm. uh, I'm happy with who we've got and, uh, and, you know, I'm, I'm happy that Kentucky is squirming. You guys take care. <laughs> yeah, definitely appreciate the call, Bob. I don't think any coach feels like I will a coach of the, any of those levels is going to be, man, I ain't going to be able to win there. <laughs> you know, though, that's the only, that would they be my know, only. Yeah, right. In, in their yeah. mind, they know they're going to, they're going to win here. Um, Pitbull Pat. <laughs> Pastor Drew, Louisville Lamont yeah. says, uh, Project Pat still, he's, he's still big on that. I one. like that one. Um, I like that. Um, no, I don't. I don't. Okay. We don't. Never mind. Stupid, stupid nickname. You will I, call them what Marcus wants you to call them. I don't want the word project connected to Pat Kelsey. Why? Well, he's a project. He's not a project. <laughs> he's proven Pat he's like Kelsey. The Gorgie Gang. Coaches. <laughs> I mean, does that make sense though? Like, yeah, like, yeah, no, like, w- like, what if that turned into a thing? You know what I'm saying? It's like, I think that that cuts off his, yeah, you know, it just cuts off his, like, dude, if he hits the ground running, yeah, I don't want it to sound like an experiment the first year because then you're like, oh, that was the first year of the experiment, second year of the experiment, you know, the project, you know, no, yeah, not a project, dude can coach, dude's ready to roll. He's, you know, everything he's done so far has struck you like he's, he's rolling. Uh, who, who do we got right Texter there? Texter says, yeah, look, they're like, I'm 10 toes down in the rob. Yeah, listen, I feel you, Texter. Says, even if they hire Cur- Hurley, I'm going to be like, yeah, he's a bum. Oh, yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah, no, yeah listen, yeah. I did that before. And he sucks. Listen, I did that before the show even started. Don't worry about it. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. But, but, which dude would just drive just this nail, you know, which yeah. guy nail to the chalkboard. Right when you know, right from the press yeah. conference, like on. I said, I got the next big star, so I'm fine. Right, I'm not worried. Unless Antonio, thanks for joining. We'd hide on shirts. I'd be like ninety three to death. Fire then, away. This is Jeff. <laughs> Antonio, fire away, my man. Oh, uh, Nick's got to hit the button. So. Yeah, there you sorry, are. Sorry, sorry. yeah, yeah. I'll start over. If you're good. Oh, okay, good morning, fellas. I wanted to talk about the fact that if they do get Scott Drew, his his personality to me just don't match the Kentucky fan base. I, I'm listening to, to Kentucky radio. They that that skittish on him. That skittish on that that they see what we got in Pat a PK, and they know that we got excitement and energy. Even if Scott Drew, he's not that excitement hype guy. Kentucky, it's like moving from LA to Utah. You know what I'm saying? Mm. And the fact that the next Kentucky coach, John Calipari is in the SEC. Everywhere John Calipari goes in the first few years, he makes a splash. Expect Arkansas to be close to the Final Four next year. And my two favorite teams, I'm a diehard Cardinal, but my next favorite team, guys, is Arkansas Razorbacks. Thank you. I'll hang up and listen. All right, baby. Appreciate the call. WPS. How much Arkansas are you gonna watch? Oh, a lot. Because <laughs> listen, I'm I'm not going to let the that back fade, go fade away. That we did a first segment on Tuesday and it was authentic. Mm-hmm. Thank God he's gone. <laughs> Thank God he's gone. I mean, they were about to load up again next year. They were doing all the oh, we're mad at him morning fired. They were gonna be top five. Top five. They were loaded. Recruiting class yeah. already. Yeah, they're going to fool around, get a guy back or something. They were going to get a couple transfers. They already got the number. They got a number two class only because Duke has Cooper Flag, one of the better classes ever. Mm-hmm. Or Kentucky being the number one again. You know, it's like, yeah, no, they were going to be reloaded again, and it was going to be rinse and repeat. And you know what you were going to be doing? Around January, February, <laughs> you're going to be like, my God, they're going to win the national they're championship. They're going to win. Oh, they're going to get yeah. hot. Yes. And, and, and so I am tickled. So, really, anybody they hire to me will be like, okay, it's not Cal. It's still not Cal. But I I swear, I think a guy like Scott Drew is the most, is the what, best. What, what do you have to say about the uh, the personality comment? Like, 
You think yeah. that's going to be a big a big culture shock to the new personality? That oh, it's going to be a culture shock, yeah. But again, and, and and I will say this, Bob. Uh, I I didn't address it, um, but there has been some coaches from the Northeast head down to Kentucky and be pretty successful. So. Yeah, oh, absolutely. <laughs> yeah, yeah. He'll be so, so yeah. He'll be fine yeah. there if he went there. Um, it's just it's again, man. It, yeah, it will be. But of course, there's always the the ultimate caveat is if they win, it doesn't matter. You know, I mean, at the end of the day, now what it does matter though is if a fan base doesn't vibe with you, your leash is a lot shorter if you don't win. That's more of the the issue. You know, if you win, it's cool. But that's like with Charlie, F- fans and Charlie didn't vibe like that, so it was like, how much of that was style of play though? Oh, a lot, mm-hmm. and, and his his he wanted to be traditional. Mm-hmm. Like they tried to give him infrared jerseys mm-hmm. that one year. Yep, and he was like, "No, absolutely not." <laughs> and we're like, "Why?" <laughs> like that's what we like, and <laughs> no, you know, yeah, no, we're gonna wear stripes on our sides of our jerseys. <laughs> yeah. We're gonna wear Louisville, and we're gonna be basically South Carolina, just with a different shade of red, because that's what we do, and we style the play, and this is how we win. And he won. And it was like awesome, but but then I mean you know he, he felt he felt the energy. He was like, yeah, I gotta take this Texas thing right. Yeah, now. yeah, yeah. It's like yeah, dude. Like you're, <laughs> I, feel, I feel the wall. You have a couple bad years in a row. It's gonna be like yeah, get out of here, man. But but no, it's it for me. That's kind of the issue there. But again, I I just don't. I'm and I'm putting myself out there. I don't usually do this. Usually, I just hate on all the coaches. Mm-hmm. So then it's like, well, I don't care who they hire. So I would just say, well, I don't care if they hire Dan Hurley. He won't have the success. Yeah, no. As long as it's not Hurley or Billy Donovan, I don't think Louisville fans really care. I mean, of course, Kentucky fans will do the thing if they hire Scott Drew today. They'll, I know my guy James. He'll jump on there today and be like, man, it was our first choice. That's who we wanted. <laughs> okay, well, it wasn't, but yeah, sure. <laughs> but yeah, yeah, you got him. <laughs> I, I just I don't think Kentucky was scared that we were going to hire Scott Drew. That's a great point. So I don't That's think we're scared that they're going to hire Scott Drew. I I didn't really feel the fear off of Scott Drew. I mean, maybe because they didn't think it was it was going to actually happen. But yeah, I still either way I didn't I didn't see them like hitting the panic button, feeling like they had to turn up the heat on Cal. No, or anything like no, that. No, I think they were like, yeah, you know, Scott Drew when he's. A sensible salad. Don't say I mean, that. essentially, it's like he's got. I, I thought it. He's got the <laughs> national title. I mean, to quote Mark Ennis, I mean, a sensible salad. Wait, you mean the COVID? National he's got the COVID national title in front of no fans, <laughs> and then he's got That's a terrible, laundry Steve. list. Of, okay, of choke wait, jobs. Wait, listen, Steve. Listen, we have to make a decision today, mm-hmm. Nikki. You're a part of this show. I need you. You put your head in here too. Um, what are we gonna? Okay. Are we going to ban, listen, because he's, if he's the coach, are we going to continue to say the COVID national title? We are the, listen, we have to make a decision today. He's the only coach to win a national title in front of no fans (laughs) and has a laundry list of choke jobs (laughs) to go along with that. So yeah, no, there is, there is enough evidence there to me to say, so we're allowed to do that. What was different? You choked every other year, and then that oh, year you won the national championship. It. Okay, I mean it's a rivalry. You got to pull out all the. He stops. had two lottery picks, and Clemson beat the piss out of him this year. Was that the same Clemson? <laughs> <laughs> that Clemson, yeah. Yeah. and they rolled them. I mean, they were up double digits most of the game. I mean, Clemson is very underrated. I mean, I do think that <laughs> is true. But he had two lottery picks. Just trying to give him some bailouts. To Kobe Walter and that Yves Medi or whatever his name is. He's, oh, the big boy. They're the big guy. Oh, yeah. They're both lottery picks. They're going to go lottery. And they got busted by Clemson. I mean, he's Calipari with like a little less talent. William Lee says no fans and fake crowd noise. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's not right. How can you be? Don't discredit people's championships. The players had to get stuff stuck up their nose every game. And you're basically going through a physical before every game. Yeah, yeah, you won that one. I mean, Nick was happy, but <laughs> all right, that's the last one. I'm I, got, I was gonna yeah, say, I'm done. Just, <laughs> I'm done now. Uh, I'm done now. Cardboard cutout fans. Yeah, <laughs> listen. Yeah, I, 
I forgot about all he that. He won the title from a bunch of people like this. <laughs> The cardboard championship? What are you, you going to call it? Yeah. What's the, the little fan things that you, they put in front of car lots? Oh, the wacky <laughs> wavy and inflatable yeah. tube man. <laughs> hey. I was like, wow, man. It's awesome. did, did they really do? I, I want to talk to those players. <laughs> like, hey, y'all, was that, was that not the lamest thing you ever did? Or, or did it feel yeah, like? seriously. Did it feel lame or did it feel like were y'all just focused on the game? What is it like? You know, you just have a massive play and you expect the crowd to roar. You look out there, then there's the little and you hear your own self. Just, yeah, there's Jerry the Jerry Seinfeld cut out staring at you. Look, you just hey what? Yeah. Yeah. Forget it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Don't even feel the same. <laughs> yeah, no, it, that's what I say. So I'm like, yeah, no, it, it's not uh, and again, my my biggest thing will be. Go back and check the tapes. Y'all did not care if we hired Scott Drew at Louisville. You're like, all right. Quick commercial break, 9 through 9 the bill. Men, this is Jeff for Tri-State Men's Health. And though I generally talk about medicine and effective treatments for erectile dysfunction and other men's sexual health issues, today I want to talk about love. Because love is the best reason to get treated for your ED. You see, ED can cause major relationship issues. In fact, men often push their partners away when ED becomes a problem. The condition can cause depression, arguments, breakups, and even contribute to divorce. But the good news is that if you're like most men suffering with ED, you can be successfully treated at Tri-State Men's Health and put a stop to the relationship stresses that ED can cause. I say this with all confidence because we have treatments that are effective in well over 90% of cases. Truly, it's likely you'll find you're performing like you haven't in years. So make an appointment and get the love back in your life. Your initial visit is just $99 and includes blood work, a medical consult, and if medically advised, a test dose. And if that test dose doesn't work in the office, your visit is free. Call 800-900-9654 or go to tristatemenshealth.com. We have six offices across the tri-state area to serve you. Single game tickets are now on sale for the 2024 Louisville baseball season. Tickets are required for every ACC home game and matchups against Kentucky and Indiana. Single game tickets can be purchased for as low as $5 by visiting gocards.com slash BSB tickets. That's gocards.com slash BSB tickets. Explore all ticket options and be sure to grab your tickets today. We can't wait to see you at Jim Patterson Stadium. Go Cards! Just like your fingerprint, your heartbeat is unique to you. And that's how your heart care should be too. So at Baptist Health, we focus on your specific cardiac needs, from preventive care to some of the most advanced procedures. For your one-of-a-kind heart, choose the one hospital system more people trust for their heart care. Baptist Health. It's care centered on you. Visit baptisthealth.com slash heartcare. At Bet365, we don't do ordinary. We believe that every sport should be epic. Every touchdown, every game, every point, every play. From the moments that are legendary to the ones that fly under the radar. Whether it's a game-winning goal in the final seconds of overtime or a shot on goal in the first period. Whatever the sport, whatever the moment, it's never ordinary at Bet365. 18 and over only, must be physically located in Kentucky. If you or someone you know has a gambling problem and wants help, call 1-800-GAMBLER. Terms and conditions apply. I'm former Louisville basketball player Luke Hancock. When the NCAA tried to take away the Most Outstanding Player Award from the 2013 tournament, I got it back thanks to Morgan & Morgan. Morgan & Morgan is the personal injury firm that fights for the people, and their team treats clients like family. Morgan & Morgan changed my life, and if you've been injured in a car crash at work or in a slip and fall, they may be able to change yours. For a free consultation, dial pound law on your cell phone. That's pound 529, offices Louisville. Hey, Cards fans, do you or a loved one suffer from gout? Gout is a very painful form of arthritis that can also lead to kidney and heart disease. I bet you didn't know there's now a Gout Center of Excellence right here in Louisville. They use the most up-to-date clinical guidelines and FDA-approved treatments to get you relief fast. If you have gout, be sure to call the Gout Center of Excellence at 502-719-2472 or visit them online at ralouisville.com and be sure to tell them Marcus sent you. Louisville fans, Steve Rummage here. We all know the importance of making the right hire, especially when the stakes are high. In basketball and in real estate, the right leadership makes all the difference. Just because someone seems nice 
or they're a friend of the family. Doesn't mean they're the right person for the job. Hire someone with a proven track record of success, like you've heard me say for years. Call Josh Jarbo. Josh and the team at REMAX Empire are turning tough plays into big wins. Ensuring your real estate experience is nothing short of a slam dunk. And in need of financing? Say no to amateur moves and go with the best. With Motto Mortgage A to Z, you're getting the MVP of treatment. No more pain, just gains. So when you're ready to make your next big play in real estate, remember, with REMAX Empire Motto Mortgage A to Z, it's always a full court press towards success. They're here to assist you in scoring the perfect property and navigating the financial hoops with ease. Call Josh Jarbo, 502-216-7590, and let's achieve those real estate goals with championship precision. Josh Jarbo, principal broker, owner of REMAX Empire and co-founder of Modern Mortgage A to Z, NMLS number 2256125. Each office is independently owned and operated. Modern Mortgage A to Z is an equal house lender. Sure, the weather may be cold, but that's no excuse not to look your best. Get a fresh haircut from Big League Haircuts. Two area locations and a great deal for you Tuesdays and Wednesdays. 5 0 Tuesdays. Get $5 off a haircut of two or more. And remember, tune into the V Show Tuesday and Wednesday for the Big League Haircuts V Stakes for a chance to win a free haircut and other great prizes. Taylorsville Road, Bardstown Road, two great locations. Play hard, look good at Big League Haircuts. Does tax time stress you out? Are you filing online but not sure if you're getting the maximum deduction? Well, Truth Tax and Accounting is here to help make tax time stress-free. We offer individual and business tax filing. You can come in office or file completely online. At Truth Tax, we understand time is money and make filing quick and easy. Visit www.truthtaxes.com or to book your appointment, call or text us at 502-264-8863. Most people don't put much thought into the value of a reliable water or sewage pump until they have to. Well, I have a team that never stops thinking about it. Kentuckiana Pump Sales. With over 35 years of experience, Kentuckiana Pump Sales, a premier Ashland pump shop, includes sump, sewage, grinder pumps, and many more to service all residential, municipal, commercial, and industrial needs. Next time you think about pumps, think Kentuckiana Pump Sales, 3303 Industrial Parkway, Jeffersonville, Indiana, or visit KentuckianaPumps.com. Here's what you missed on The Drive with Mark Ennis. We are happy to be joined now by Louisville's new men's basketball coach, Pat Kelsey. It's a separator for us. Like, when we're recruiting a kid, that's always funny. When I'm talking to a kid, and that, that before I even can get out of my mouth, you know, they say, Coach, you don't have to tell me anything about the past of your fans. I can tell you about it already. Uh, that's the tip of the cap. The Cardinal Nation out there that, that's showing their love all the time. Weekdays, 3 to 6 on 93.9 The Ville. Your home is your fortress, and your first line of defense is your roof. So if your roof is under attack by either Mother Nature or Father Time, you should be calling Citadel Roofing and Construction. Citadel Roofing and Construction is locally owned and operated, will provide free inspections, estimates, and of course they'll work with your insurance. Did I also mention their A-plus rating with the Better Business Bureau? Let Citadel Roofing and Construction protect the roof that protects you by calling 502-219-7964 today. Hi, this is Louisville football coach Jeff Brom. You're listening to the home of UofL Athletics, 93.9 The Bill. It's just one of those days when you don't want to wake up. Everybody sucks. You don't really know why. But you want to talk to us, and someone's head off, you know, you make contact, and if you went to us, I know, right? Stay away, mother. It's just one of those. I understand why they muted that one. That's bringing me down. <laughs> Listen, I've got a great. I've had a great morning. Listen, I'm, I've got a dinner tonight with uh, at Buffalo Wild Wings with Coach Lieberman. We're gonna hang out and enjoy. It. Look, I always look. For, I look forward to my time with with Wednesday. Y'all supposed to do Thursdays, right? <laughs> nah, we do Wednesdays. Wednesdays are easier. The A Squad there. Yeah. <laughs> Is it like oh, a Wing Wednesday? Wait. Aren't there some specials? No. Oh. That that um. That song brings you down. I mean, just 
no, no, not the the song's cool, but it's just like eh. look. And let me mess you up some more. Rest in peace, Melissa Jacobo. I li- I know that song word yeah. for word because I dated a Cali girl, <laughs> a softball really? player. Yeah, and that was her. That was her come out music. Oh wow, nice. Yeah, that was her at bat. Okay, yeah, that was her at no, bat. Yeah, yeah, no, the music. song's great. Yeah, yeah. The between song's great. between that and Gwen Stefani. <laughs> That's what I had to listen to. For I just got a text from James. He said, "Don't worry, bro. I ordered donuts." <laughs> he's, trying, he's trying to brighten up the mood a little yeah. bit. I just Thank mean you, more of the, the Nick and, and just you and just all y'all's problems. <laughs> <laughs> we we just bombarded you too much. Yeah, it's just a lot of, I, both y'all. Like we we can only have out of us three. Only one person can have a bad can day. Have a bad. No, my mine's was going good. Once I survived, okay. my, my incident. All right, it's feeling good, Dan. It's been great, yeah. Um, That's good. So it's just Nick. Yeah. I'm okay. trying not to let it spread. I'm just trying to contain it back here. Um, Let me let me I'm pass sorry. along something. First, wait, first and foremost, before I even get into, into the, <laughs> the, the, the dirty details of what's going on, I want to take a second to give a huge yeah. shout out and special thanks to one of the newest members of the team. That would be Kentuckiana Pump Sales for every for every home, building, business, or municipality that all rely on the movement these pumps provide. The moment you need a water or sewage pump, you should be thinking Kentuckiana Pump Sales. They're like our first responders or essential personnel. Over 35 years of experience, best service fairest possible price and it's right over in jeffersonville indiana people go see harold or go see mark you'll find out exactly what you need utility sump affluent grinder sewage anything you need 3303 industrial parkway jeffersonville indiana of course or you can give them a call 812-725-9217 or simply visit kentuckyandapumps.com tomorrow 3303 industrial parkway we will be doing the show from 3303 industrial parkway jeffersonville indiana we will be feeding four pegs to attendees at 3303 industrial parkway it will be a full open house to learn anything you want to learn at 3303 industrial parkway so four pegs you get to meet Steve F and Rummage. All right. What's your middle name? Ray. <laughs> it's just it's simple. It's not. I was not ready. Yeah. S R R. I was not Let's... ready for him to say. <laughs> yeah. So we could call him Stevie Ray. Yeah. It was like it was simple. I wasn't. I guess I should have said something with an F. I was not ready. Yep. For you to say Ray. Yeah. You may you look like Ray should be your first name. Not right. <laughs> now that I'm getting older. Yeah. You look like a Ray Steven. Yeah, more than a Steven Ray. Ray Stevens. That's funny. Yeah. Like the Mississippi Squirrel Revival guy. <laughs> you ever heard that? No. Oh no. my gosh, dude. You've never heard that song? Ray St- he made all the parodies like funny. Yeah. He, I, I yeah, know yeah. Like, yep. like that squirrel got loose in the in the I, church, I, I know the name. Yeah, it was I, funny. I, I know I know the name. It was good. I wasn't ready for Ray. Yeah, Ray. That's it, man. <laughs> uh-huh. Um, you know, producers are the worst sometimes. Because like I know what Nick's doing right now, and it's gonna be like way past the time. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like, yeah, like you don't have to. Like, you don't have to do that. <laughs> yeah. Once it's past, it's past. Yeah. When I was a kid, I'd take a trip every summer it was funny. down to Mississippi to visit my It's one of those songs, though, you're going to literally have to listen to the whole thing. I'd run or it's not going to be funny. But Diamond trees, free as a song. One day I happened to catch I got a text. All right. I, I want to. Um, does anyone remember Donovan snitching about Nike helping Kentucky more than they helped Florida? Which is really why he left. Do you remember that? Uh, vaguely. You don't. Re- that's a that's a good pool. Yeah. Type in. Billy Donovan complains about Nike. 
you don't remember when Billy Donovan was like, hey, we, I got tired of them getting help. And it's like, hey, what about us? Like, they're not the only Nike school. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. I vaguely remember that. I, I do. I do remember that. And that's why he's not coming back to college. I think it would be hard to pull him to college, but out of out of the the, the lifestyle, yeah. Um, tomorrow is the last day of the dead period. Tomorrow is the last day of the dead. Yeah, period. I'm ready to I'm ready to get back into. To, uh, listen, I did love Coach Kelsey talking yesterday on the ACC Network. Mm. And they asked him if he watched the national championship game, and he was like, "Not really." He's like, "I was on recruiting <laughs> Zoom calls." He's like, yeah, I already know, <laughs> I already know those systems. Yeah, yeah. So, and uh, Dante Maddox will be on campus this weekend. Ooh, what's the weather look like? Dante Maddox will be on campus this weekend. Oh, it's gonna be beautiful. Did he? Did he get it? It's down be eighty to, this weekend. Did he get it down to three schools? Five. Those, oh, five. Okay. Did you? Did you find I didn't him? find that, but I did find him talking about the opening now, which I think is interesting. No, that's okay. Yeah, if we were KSR, it would be. Hey, sure. You sure you don't want this? Spend you know, five years, my first five years in coaching, you know, coaching gave, gave me a job. Two, two kids, uh, one there. I think like all my stocks, you know, you have very, very fond memories. Um, I have not been contacted by any. I haven't spoken to anybody. My total commitment and focus is here to this team and to this group. I think with what we've been through, you know, this year and the way we started, we've talked about it. Um, I, I give our guys a lot of credit for and I'm with them on that, and I'm committed to them with that. So, uh, you know, again, a lot of this stuff I think sometimes turns out to be speculation. Uh, but I have not had any contact with anybody. Uh, my commitments here. Everybody always yeah. says that because their agents do all the talking, right? <laughs> Billy Donovan in the UK confirmed. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I mean, they they that don't. I mean, I don't think he'll go there, but it's not because of uh. It's not because of that. It's not because of poor relationship. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. I do, I do remember him saying that though, and I, I think we were on the air, Steve, and I think we were just kind of like, yeah, doing another one that was like, you can't keep getting away with. Yeah, this. no, yeah. <laughs> Listen, this is how he's literally complaining about the shoe company. Yeah, not helping him as much as they're helping Kentucky. Yeah. Like I mean, that wasn't right. Yeah, no, like we're trying to get a player. How did Duke stay on that on that um commercial, Steve? Oh, the uh the one the yeah. uh, where the kid grew up and he picks. Oh Duke no 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 and, no! Oh, that was yeah, that was in, uh, in a league of its own. Yeah, I'm talking about. I'm talking about the commercial they aired during the championship where they had Purdue, North Carolina State. Um, who else was it? Purdue, North Carolina State, mm -hmm. UConn, and Alabama, and Duke. They took one of them out, had Duke <laughs> in there, <laughs> just had Duke rolling. Yeah, they had like it was like NC State, Duke, and it was going on during like uh, during the championship game. And I'm like, well, that's not fair. Well, they're setting up for next year already. <laughs> that's what, like they're not even in the because you know when they kept so showing Jay Will. Uh huh. Yeah, look, friend of mine said, oh, because they got Jay Will in it. I'm like. I don't care, but like that's, that's still not fair. Well, Duke, that's the thing though. Next year, they're already. I mean, you're talking about guys like Filipowski and Jared McCain. Come Jared on. McCain's going to be a lottery pick, and they're like, Chancey might come back. I was going to ask you that question too, Steve. I was trying to like. They're, it's almost like they're setting them up to be the super team next year. Um, what do you think? Um, because I'll be getting out here shortly. Two million dollars. I'll be here. Two million dollars. Yeah. In the hands of a college student. Okay. On a campus mm -hmm. versus two million dollars on an NBA team. Two point five on a on yeah. NBA team. What world would you would you enjoy more? God, probably in the college world. Oh God, yeah, yeah. Because you got no expenses as a college. Yeah, seriously, yeah. I mean, once you're in the NBA, you do that. Two million. It think about basically how, doubles. Think about how, what, what we're saying right now. Yeah, we're we're almost almost agreeing with each other that two million dollars in your college hands is better than two point five in NBA hands. Well, yeah, I would say, but I think the difference is probably 
I mean, what's Here, a rookie? What's a lottery but, contract, though? But the work, yeah. Listen, school, study halls, yeah, college life, yeah. But my point is, I think thirty-four would, to forty games compared shit, to eighty-two. I, I don't think women. Yeah, but I don't think we're talking <laughs> two point five to two point to two mil. Like, if you're a two million dollar player in college, you probably now now if you're a guy that's like back end. Or second rounder, then sure. But if you're a lottery pick, I mean, what what's the average? What's the average I was, lottery I was, pick? Yeah, I'm gonna look that up. I was looking at top ten. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think it's like. The, I mean, the first five are like good. Yeah, 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 yeah. But yeah. after when it gets down to six, seven, yeah, eight, that's what I was more thinking. Like uh, the back end of the lottery, if you could get two million dollars to stay in college. But what's a back end of the I mean, lottery? Just, just the option of college is starting to sound yeah. so so much more alluring than dealing with the yeah. Because I mean, if it's a difference of oh yeah, but a lottery pick might be a thirty million dollar or you know I don't know though. I'm not saying it no, would that, be. yeah that that rookie deal. Sucks. Yeah, yeah, that's yeah. that's the thing. To be a lottery that that the the NBA players union really screwed their their system mm -hmm. up by doing that. Yeah, by sliding or up. they did it right. All right, so pick. 14. Yeah, that's more. What yeah, is making 3.5. Okay. His first year salary. Okay. So what would you have, what would you have to make in college to turn down a 3.5 pro? I mean, two, two and a half. Yeah. I think would be fair. Yeah. Cause you would go, okay, I don't have to get a house. I don't have to do any of this. I don't, you know, um, I can see the draw. Yeah. Of saying college is cool. Here's this money. And 40 games as opposed to and, 82. Yeah. And and, so. and now we're going to start doing Wizard Army and saying, yeah, if I'm college, I'm not staying in the dorm. Oh, no, but big. that's true, though. <laughs> like, yeah. yeah. But, like, I'm going to have an awesome place. Also, you got people. I'm kinda, living at the Omni. Yeah. Like, and you got people that are protecting you here. The like, doghouse. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, I mean, when you have 3.5 and you're living in a city, what was that girl that ruined PJ Washington's life, basically? Oh, Brittany, what's her face? No, she didn't. I thought, well, yeah, but well, she, she she tried he, to hurt his reputation. He, he made an adult decision. You, but I'm saying, <laughs> but I'm saying when you're that 3.5 gets whittled away because you're making adult decisions like that. Whereas in college, I mean, you could make some stupid Have decisions, you but you got, oh, I like I would probably I'd roll the dice to ruin my life. Yeah, but a lot of people will roll the dice to ruin their life. Yeah, I know. I mean, that's fair, but I'm saying those people exist out there you think you're just safer in college i think you're safer like, in college a, a i mean as long as you know, you're not like a total idiot obviously but i mean you got handlers i feel like there's more handlers here in college in theory